Hey guys, what is up, Dave? Coming back to you with another video on the channel. What a weird stutter to my intro. So today, we're gonna be looking at a new modified version of Pokemon Go with some leaked files. This version is called Pokemon Go Injector, or PG Injector for short. It's an offshoot of what sounds like PG Sharp, with some newer features that have never been released public, like shiny swap and uh, a couple other things like candy freezing. There's a few little features in it that are actually pretty cool. But here's the thing. There's no way to get a current uh, version of PG Injector, as far as I can tell. I even tried joining the Telegram for the development group. I tried joining the Discord. I cannot find downloads anywhere for PG Injector. The only download I found was for 0.215.1 of Pokemon Go. Give me one second. So what's the weird thing about PG Injector? The weird thing about PG Injector is it's very similar to PG Sharp. If you remember from when we looked over PG Sharp, PG Sharp is a modified version of the Pokemon Go APK, meaning that they figured out some way to get around the file modification detection. In PG Sharp's uh, standpoint, they have a custom library file inside the APK, and that bypasses uh, and does everything by memory hook, so it's basically an IL to CPP custom menu. Now, in Pokemon Go Injector, it's a little bit different. So in Pokemon Go Injector, there's the V7A, and it's just a single modified lib IL to cpp.so. What we're gonna do is compare these files. So this is PG Injector. This is an untouched Pokemon Go original APK of 215.1. And I wanna figure out what the difference is here. So first of all, right off the bat, we can actually compare something very obvious. This has a lot missing. There is a single classes.dex, whereas this has two classes.dex, and it's missing all of these property files. That already is a big thing. This is also missing the Kotlin folder, where this is not. Um, and as far as I can tell, I need to open up different APK. I think it was this one. This is the untouched one. Okay, this one's untouched Pokemon Go Injector. So as you can see, there's a lot even missing in here. The Firebase stuff is missing. The TensorFlow Lite is missing. All you have is the lib main, the lib unity, but this has VR unity. I don't see that over in here. As the Niantic Labs plugin. This is interesting. VR Unity. That's got to be a custom library. Now that I'm thinking about it, that's got to be a custom library. Hmm. It's got. It's a linker. That bin versus I need to see another library file. I can just do linker. Yeah, that doesn't exist in here. I think linker is the sign of a memory injection IL to CPP file. Uh, we just need to really scroll through here lib vr unity version 1.0 um unity vr activity okay enable electronic display stabilization this is literally i don't know man this is weird let me download the samsung version real quick I'm going to pause this and download the Samsung APK that matches the same version. 
All right, we have the Samsung version now. It's right here. Looks very similar. Okay, not a big deal. We look in here. It also still has all of these components. This is the Google one, 8998300, This doesn't say anything about modified or created in it, um, but all the files are here. And a lot of stuff is very similarly sized. So like the lib main is the same size. Firebase file is the same. The AR core is the same. Firebase, the same. That's, yeah. The JSON, the same. 93, 32, 624, 944. Adventure Sync is 52. 988, 720, 76, not the same, hollow is not the same, 660, not the same, the same, not the same. I wonder if there's something going on where somebody figured out if you delete a, the one classes folder, and actually, you know what? I'm going to pause this again and go download PG Sharp because I think I just got a theory. My idea with PG Sharp didn't pan out at all, so we'll just ignore that. Anyway, so we notice there's those big differences. If we go through the assets, everything is here. Omni, NIA localization, items, double A, text, and bin. Let's see if everything's the same in the bin folders. Yeah, it's the same. Hmm. There's got to be something. Uh. There's got to be something somewhere. So as you can see, I modified the IL to CPP file and I installed it to my phone and I attempted to log in. If you attempt to log in on a normally modified APK, you will be greeted by an error um, and the app will just actually crash. So that doesn't happen if you modify the IL to CPP file on PG Injector. So I don't really know what's going on in this ABK. I'd like to figure it out for obvious reason. Wait, uh, 584. There is something so weird going on here. Man, I cannot wrap my head around this on what would be going on. I should rip the Android manifest. Um, I don't think I can actually open it. I just realized. Can I edit with no? Oh, yeah, you got to decrypt it. My bad. Although it does already look different in here compared to Unity Activity. Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know what's going on with PG Injector. I really do think, I just don't know. I don't know what to think. I would love to figure out how to mod Pokemon Go because I can see it being a game that I would enjoy modding just as much as I enjoyed hacking and modding Racing Rivals. Now, we all know my stance on hacking and modding. I don't know I would necessarily release anything if it came down to it. There's got to be some, like, readable text in here somewhere. Let's just search Pokemon. Now, shiny. Yeah, there's nothing, man. Google? Okay. Interesting. I'm not... I just don't know what's going on in this APK. 
Because this doesn't even look like it would be menu code, if I'm honest with you. I don't know what's going on. And I have some other people that are interested in wondering what's going on in this APK as well. I just don't get it. What did they do? Make a whole custom... I wonder... Ooh. Interesting theory. Did they open Unity 3D after dumping the classes.dex? This is way out there sort of thinking. But hear me out. Could you make a modified APK in Unity 3D by dumping the classes.dex, reading some of the basic code, making a custom project in Unity 3D that compiles to an app that's APK and then copy all the contents like the full asset folder. Copy this IL to CPP file, copy this plugin, copy all this stuff into your custom project. So if I took another, man, this is way out there thinking. This is way out there. It's a custom APK. It's a fully custom Unity 3D project and stuff is just copy and pasted into the APK. I'm gonna run that by somebody who knows a lot about this style of hacking in the Unity world that is a member of Platin Mods. He has done some amazing, I think it's a he, has done some amazing work. I can't say the username. I don't know how to pronounce the username. I couldn't even begin to try. But I'm going to run that wild idea past that person. Can you make a custom Unity project? That's just a blank game. Copy the IL to CPP uh, library folders over to your custom APK with the entire asset folder as well and make a custom APK. Maybe at most what you do is you make a menu in one custom library file. And this is actually a custom file. I don't know. I like that theory and I want to push it forward and try that in a future video. We'll try it with something far easier than Pokemon Go though. With that, I bid you guys a good night.